Hey Daniel, good morning. Hey, good morning. How's it going? I just got home. Coffee's in the zone. No more skiing today. <laughs> so <laughs> let's focus on some go. How have you? Yeah, perfect. I see you're down to one Q, so it, it, it's yeah. easy now. I dropped all the way down to two Q for oh. a little while. <laughs> okay, I, I haven't seen that. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I, I, I popped right back up. I worked really hard and got it right back up. Nice, nice. So now it's time to work <laughs> on, on the way back to down level. I, yep, I yep. see you're playing a very experienced 1Q here. Thousands of wins yeah. and losses. I'm just replaying the game. Let me see where you are now. Okay, he played that. Wow, so aggressive. He played that attach, M7. Well, and the natural move is just honey. You're right, right? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I just ventured though. <laughs> Let, yeah, I see that. But now you're a little bit in trouble. There's a shortage of liberties there. So, for right, example, right. if you jump, if you play a move like K9, he can just mm -hmm. play N8, and then when you connect, he goes Atari from behind and Atari again. So, playing that Hasa Mitsuke M6, which looks like a Tesuji, it's actually a dangerous move for you. <laughs> but right. well, you want to cut him next, or what was the plan? Uh, I was thinking about it, and now I have like serious th second ah. thoughts. <laughs> Actually, you can cut because you create some cutting points, and then you go out. If you don't cut, it's a problem because your okay. your only option is to go out with an empty triangle. Mm -hmm. Oh, stock you go! Happy New Year and Happy New Chinese Year. All the New Years are here now. The red year. That was, that's a bad uh, start of the the year for me. My first tournament, I lost three games, and I think I dropped down to six down now, but. I'll be back, like you just did from 2Q to 1Q. In a couple of weeks, I play another tournament. Nice. But till then, I should also train a little bit. I've been skiing too much, and then I got a little bit sick. That's my cheap excuse for losing those games. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> you had any tournament uh, recently? I didn't play in one, but I, I broadcast from the uh, Midwest Open, mm -hmm. and then... The nice. most recent one was uh, last November, and I think we talked about that oh, one. Oh, yeah, I remember. I was 4 and 0 as 4Q. And... Yeah, yeah, that, that, yeah, that yeah. went well. So, and when yep. is the next one? In the meantime, I'm jump out with sure. the troop, don't die. Right? Uh, I think K8 works. Yeah. Uh, well, you could also K9, actually, because it would put okay. more pressure on the M10 group. But anyway, it's good to keep him separate. Now he can leather. That's not such a big deal. Okay. But you gotta do something with the top right corner. I didn't see how you set up this fight on the right. Hang on. Let's back up a little bit. Okay, he played the honey, you double honey, Atari extend. Ah, this was nice. Atari, then you cut him. Ah, okay. Oh, you could play a squeeze, Atari, Atari, and kill everything. Oops. I see. Earlier, you could play M10. We, we can go over that. Sure. Yeah, that KMI is good. L3, very nice. So he has to worry about the leather. But probably he'll play a Kosumitsuke L4 to prevent L6. Or that one. But that one, it's still troublesome for black. He needs to fix anyway. He'll push again. Mm hmm. Interesting you played D13. That was because he played G17? Uh, Hang on, you need to answer. Yeah, he slid at D18. Um, no, I after mean, I ignored I mean, the log. When he approached G17, you reacted D13. You could react C13, low. Oh, no, I ignored his approach at oh, D17. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Ah, and then he slides D18 and then you answer. Oh, mm, okay. Yeah. Interesting. So, uh, I think <clears throat> shape point. Probably K10. Right. Or, yeah. Yeah, play that first. If he captures one stone, it's not a problem. You're alive in the corner and he can also leave easily. And going out, K6 is not so interesting right now. Sure. He will just attack it several times. So, you're setting up the bamboozle. <laughs> With all these confusing moves. <laughs> right. Well, Black's N10 group is still pretty weak, so... Making yeah, shape yeah. while putting pressure on it. That's a good Seems plan. Good. And then you can easily uh, attack the bottom area. 
Yep. Here you only have one move. I guess. Uh, Maybe two. I'm, I'm looking at Hane, but that might yeah, be too Yeah, Hane is good. No, it's fine. Oh, it is. Okay. He has to Hane, you go, you extend, you no B, then he's still under, under pressure. Mm -hmm. Eyeless. And then you should enter the bottom. How you attack this P16? He could probably... Whoa, that's interesting. But too Isn't much. It, it's just a ladder, right? Yeah, yeah, it's just a ladder and capture it. It's an illusion. But maybe he thinks he can go P13 Atari again and then go out somehow. But if he does that, he will lose the group in the middle. So he needs to Atari from the outside anyway. When he has this shape, P16 and R15, Usually you attack N17, oh, interesting move, or even O18, but now we got to fix this area first. So, what are the moves you consider? Um, I'm looking at P14. No B. The problem is he can connect under if you play no B, and he can also play Atari from the outside. So you better play O13, where he wants to go next, and then he cannot Atari from the outside anymore. And you can also go down R14. So when he connects under, you surround the group in the middle. When he comes out in the center, you kill the two stones. So you keep everything alive on the side. That's how you punish his overplay. Because if you go Peter P14, he can attack from the outside. You connect, and then he can also connect under R14. And you don't catch any of the groups. Gotcha. So take the stone, even if it looks strange as a shape point. But that's the proper way. Okay. And then you can just Hane R13 or go down R14 to capture the two stones. And if he saves those two, he dies in the middle. He doesn't want that. Now the center, you can leave it like this and capture those two. Well, his maneuver was not too bad. Uh, I think you should go down here. Yeah, R14. Because anyway, when you play R13, he cuts and you need another move. Okay. <clears throat> But playing Q13, he lost that stone, and you got stronger capturing the Ponuki in the center. So he could play L13, you capture, and then he makes the shape in the middle. So he could have, yeah, that move instead of Q13. Now you can ignore this move mm -hmm. and attack the, the P16 corner. So I'm looking at either just taking the 3-3 or approaching at N17. 3, 3, does, or maybe? 3, 3 doesn't really work because yeah. he can play center Q15 and then he covers P17. So you better approach N17. If, okay. if it's Blackstone here, he would play N17. He doesn't play Q17 or P18 or so. It would be strange. Gotcha. Anyway, he can go Q15, you go up, and then he needs another move. Ah, or that one. Uh, let's see here. Oh, this is sneaky. You can't cut. He has a ladder. Okay, so my R14 was a little bit greedy. But in that case, uh, we gotta play smart here. Took, 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 took. Wow. Just O14? Yeah, I was looking at O14. This game turns into a 1Q against 1Q. Because I just missed that move. <laughs> <laughs> but actually this is fine. Because if he connects, you can go under R13. And then he needs to connect again. And you connect again. And he's in trouble with the corner anyway. But his L13 was really sneaky. To set up that shortage of liberties. Phew, I need more coffee. You can cut here. <laughs> Unless you want to squeeze, you better just uh, go back to R13. Yeah. Because you also don't want to lose that uh, side group. Well, some shapes are strange in this game. Ah, okay, but now Atari. And it's fine. Now what? And do I need... A shape move like uh, L14 to expand liberties, or yeah, you need something there. Yep. You want to get stronger there, so then you can slide, or yep. maybe now Sun Sun Q17. Probably slide it's enough P18. Mm -hmm. 
Mm, he wants to kill you here. That's too much. Just block. But then you can play another center move in the center. Like Nobi. He was supposed to play K14. He wants to kill you on the side, but don't answer that. Just Nobi K14. You have 7 on the second line and you can block in center S8. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> now let's see what happens in the center. Uh huh. Is this any danger for the middle group? I don't think not, he can not kill one move yeah. and I can right. run. Yeah. yeah. So probably the slide now. Yeah, do that. What happens if he goes uh, M16 and then Johanna and then he tries O17, then Atari, then Atari again. You go out. Then if he cuts, you play what? Double Atari. No, that doesn't happen. Huh? Cut and capture some stones. Uh, the Q17? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm on the last we... POU already. What? <laughs> oh. <laughs> but we have. No, it's 30 seconds one time. Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't so was... pay careful enough attention. <laughs> it's fine. Shoot. Don't lose on time then. Right. And don't lose on the board either. <laughs> Appreciate it. This is very bad for Black. You capture, he connects, he's in trouble. Maybe he's trying some Tesuji next. Uh huh. Just no B. Can you cut, cut. by the way? Yeah. Oh, okay. I but think I, th so. I think you could no B again and then cover. I see. Anyway, this kills enough. So you block. Uh, here? Yeah. yeah. He will. Oh, vital point. Hang on a second. This is not really working. Um, block N15. Yeah. I was wondering if we had to play Atari K13 before but now it's too late anyway now you squeeze atari from behind mm -hmm. if you like you can play one more atari but it's not really needed you better keep the call and you better cover k17 or maybe we had to play the atari oh yeah play, play the atari from behind because he has the throw in Atari and then he can go in between. Probably he'll give you back the three stuns just to save the bottom. But now anyway, he died on the right, so this is a game. Yeah, just extend once or twice. It's nice to see him crawl on the second line. Mm -hmm. Oh, some Tesuji magic. Doesn't work. Just R17, yeah? Mm, it, it's okay to block S18. Actually, it's the same thing. He can go up. If he goes R17, you capture R16. Uh, connect. No, be one more time. It's center to yep. turn. And then how you go out with the center group? This K10 in order to attack his group. Ooh, I'm looking at the diagonal. Whoa. Uh, <laughs> he heard you. <laughs> <laughs> I think he heard you. <laughs> yeah, maybe uh, I9. Now. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You have enough territory already killing that group, so simply running out in the middle and it's fine. Okay. Oh, is this center? Now you should push once to see how he reacts to K7. Because if he blocks, you got the Atari on the outside, <clears throat> so you're connected in center. And if he captures the stone to keep some options available there. Uh, ah, okay. Atari, you don't need to play right away. You better play a move to attack his J11, which is which. 
<clears throat> uh, probably just the cap at h11 is fine. Mm, he will cut you. It's safer to play h10. Okay. Nine. But the direction of play was good. So how's your score now as a 1Q? Two solid wins. Okay. And this is a free game. Yep. It's a free game. A free kill. How about you turn on the bottom in center? Then we need some Tsujis here. I just J13 and then cut. I like that. If you play J13, he will attach H11. So how about you try something around F18 first? Eight, seven, okay. Six, five, yeah, let's do that. Four. See how he reacts. Because if he loses the base here, he starts running out. Then maybe you jump once at age 12, he needs to connect in the middle. Then he's still pretty much eyeless. Ah, okay. Like this, go out F17. He'll honey. That looks painful to make the empty triangle, but probably you build a big corner. <clears throat> and then you have a cutting point, so... Some empties, you gotta accept. <laughs> <clears throat> uh huh. Okay, so now he can connect under. That's not great. And okay, he can play the vital point, but you still have plenty of liberties. If you like, you can just capture three stones at M13. So you're alive. Then you don't have to play inside. And his groups on the outside are still kind of floating. And the way to attack is not J13, it's I12. So you force him to play J13 and he's still not alive. Ah, he heard that too. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> um, we still need some moves to help your H10. I think you should play I12. So if he pushes, we sacrifice one stone, you get stronger. And then you take the top left corner and build a huge left side. Okay. This pokes the eye. But he will push and cut. That's some fighting spirit. And you're happy to sacrifice that stone just to get stronger and connect to the left side. Right. So it's sort of indirect defense. Yeah, and this whole attack is building the left, ultimately. Right. I mean, if we're careful about it. Well, let's check the SDMA score. White plus 43, and it doesn't even count those dead stones on the right. Uh huh. <clears throat> so, here, can he cut you in any way you need to react? Let's see. Tuck, tuck. Ah, you gotta push once. I ate to fix a little bit in center. I see. Then he will pull back or no, or jump. Nobi or Toby. Ah, or that one, very aggressive. And then you can jump G12. So you help your I12. And his entire group can die. I see. Uh, block solid. Yeah, black has no mm -hmm. territory. And also, his potential is very limited this game. But I guess he just likes fighting, so he wants to see what happens next. For sure. Why not? <laughs> Push once. Try to separate uh, him. H13. Yeah. H13 push. You want to see if he pulls back or he blocks. I, I guess he'll block. If he pulls back, you push again. Okay. Can we ca cut and capture that stone? Or it's too much? Mm -hmm. Or just attack it from the outside? I think from the outside is enough. You don't play the strongest move anymore. <laughs> what what happened? <laughs> Maybe G14 is. I mean, okay, well, yeah, why not? You can. You yeah. goaded me into it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Usually, you play that kind of move even if it's the risky one. But in this case, I do, yeah, yeah, it seems to be working fine. 
push again. Yeah. If you honey, you have the ladder. If he turns, you block. So he's a little bit short on liberties. And then when you separate I-19, H-19, he's done. Maybe now he's working f for some... Oh, no. No I shape. Uh, just go out again. E14. No Ataris. Because you don't know which Atari you want to play. Probably it's, be it's best to go F12 next. But like this, if he doesn't do anything, you go G15. And then you cut him somehow. <clears throat> mm. Now he kills your middle. Uh, uh -huh. You have a nice attach here. E11. Yeah, Those are yeah, the mouse, yeah, play, play the, the, the Tetsuji <laughs> style. Okay, okay, now teach him the ladder, huh? Or wait, can we can we go peep first, G15? Yeah, let's do that first. It's much nicer. Kill, he, kill him oh. with style. Yeah. He doesn't have time to play F11, for example, because you can Atari, Atari again, and capture the stone. This is nothing. Uh, cut now, G16, so you take some profit in center. Yeah. And actually, you can kill everything, huh? It seems to be. <laughs> That's up to you. You, so you can also let next, him, yeah. You can also let him go out. But, okay, no, no way, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no mercy. Hey, you goaded me into playing the stronger yeah. move earlier, so yeah, we're gonna. We're just you gonna gotta, do it. yeah, be consistent. Okay, bamboo. No, 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 you should bamboo oh. here. Uh, oh, that's that's Terrible. the the bad empty triangle. You better bamboo because if he pushes your Atari two stones, then he captures one. But now yeah. you gotta, yeah. So I let you play one move, and here we go. <laughs> <laughs> now it's alive. Ah, uh, he's almost alive, actually. Almost alive, yeah. Yeah, you still have K13. Luckily, uh -huh. you kill him anyway. But, yeah, not the beautiful style. Right. Okay, okay, you just give him the impression that he might leave. So now, kill. Reduce the space from the outside. Also, you can capture two stones anytime, but that's not necessarily center. So we're doing K13 first? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That one, because you're threatening to cut J12, and maybe it's important. Mm -hmm. But in fact, taking the two stones would be nice. Because then you surround the top right. Well, in fact, how many groups do we want to kill this game? You were already <laughs> 100, uh, 100 points ahead, and probably 100% to win this game. Oh, Atari, connect. Do we have liberty issues here? No, not really. Take the stone. How he surrounds you around E10, for example. I mean, if he plays that, you go Atari on two stones and Atari again. Mm -hmm. Also, you can capture the two stones in center, trying to break out at L5. I don't see what he hopes here. Yeah, start from the two stones capture. Take some more profit first. Besides, you can cut him J12, and then he's very short in the middle. But now cut the two stones. I mean, F12, Atari. Then Atari again. Separate here. Because you don't want to be surrounded and play inside your own territory to remove the dead stones. That would be Semedoria, and it's a pity to lose five points after you kill all. D D11. One more Atari. If you just... Yeah... He goes down. You can capture one stone, or you can push again. I would take the one stone. Play safe now. So many cards left. So what to kill next? <clears throat> mm. Take one stone directly. Let me check the score again. 
So he got four solid points at L19. And if a big call fight starts, he loses that group too. Hmm, just go down. Yeah, just disconnect. This guy won't resign. He's a Korean. How we kill that? Go down again? He's gonna make at least one eye, right? Mm, yeah, but not enough. Okay. One eye we can let. In the top, I think it's nice to cut K5. And then he will probably be afraid of some double Atari. Then you pull back. He needs to live on the side. Ah, okay. But let's kill this one first. So where next? Just gotta connect. Why not came up B15? I think connect works too, but... Okay, just make sure it's only one eye. Yeah, <clears throat> okay. It's only one eye, yeah. But is there cut Sante with the E15? Hey. Um, oh no, we can just do this. Yeah, it's enough, yeah. Hang on. Yep. Yeah, they have a Korean flag. <laughs> okay. The dog eats out. <laughs> So what happened here? He died in Gote? Hmm. Yep. Okay. Now do something in the top left. Or just use those cuts in the middle. Start here. <laughs> yeah, start like that. Not in Gote? How can he leave? What did we miss? No, he doesn't leave if he plays J15. So he's dead in Gote. Oh, you're right. H15 is center. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. Lucky. Okay. Now E15. Yeah, he can leave. And now you need J16. Just to keep that connected. But it's fine. We can kill some other things. Yeah, amazing play by Black. He got back to two points in the middle. I'm just going to take this for giggles. You should keep that as a cutlet. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> but well, feels good. All right, now double Atari in the center. And go uh... out. Yeah, start from the double Atari, I6. And when he turns to escape with the two stones, you go out. Then you get strong in the top. And then you can just push Q6 and kill that. Uh -huh. Or it's a call. Anyway, go out. So what's the score now? Still close to 100 points. Mm, Hanemons. J3. Yeah, I completely miss his H15 center. And push once. Now which is better, capture the stone in the center at H7 or push again? I think no matter uh, what you play, you're 100% to win this game. I think capturing now is... Okay, good. take the Ponuki. You ruin all that potential. Ah, I've got to block this. I think he realizes he's in trouble. Connect, and then he needs twice. Actually, he had the twice. He didn't. Yeah, this was just a couple of extra points because, yeah. So, how can you attack the H4 group? Uh, we can just split directly, or I can. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, do that. Punish black all the time. And I was thinking about like D6 to surround the. 
the five stones that are just kind of uh -huh. out there. Yeah, but now you probably kill everything. So push once, F5. Because if he connects the sick heavy group from the top with all those floating stones on the left side, he dies anyway. Ah, you can just cut. So he doesn't connect anything. He dies group by group. Unless we let him live like it happened on the bottom. Just go down. Yes. Yep. Yeah, I just descend. Now he jumps somewhere on the second line, and then we teach him what is Uh Play H2 first. And after he connects, you go down. Like this, you tighten his liberties. But he didn't matter much. Ah, okay. Now you can... Actually... Now you can just cut. It was better to block. But those guys are dead. If he cuts, you just Atari. Uh huh. <clears throat> so separate some stones here. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out which ones. <laughs> e E2, just honey. Oh, E2? Yeah, okay. when he cuts, yeah. you capture two stones. If you play some Atari, you just take them. Yeah, take them right away. Then if he plays H3, for example, it doesn't work. Just take. Ah, okay. Now pip. D6. And then we're connecting at like C8. Eight. Yeah, C8. Very good. Last then you should. Me. I don't know if you can go in the. Oh. Uh, cut that, C9. That no, no, it doesn't. Yeah. Surprising. Desperate. Looking to Suji. Cut. Yeah. yeah. You can capture some more stones. Now, no be in the corner or some other moves. I think he'll die here. Yeah, no be in the corner. D2. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so let's see. 100 points again. Ah. Good. Honey under. Second line. Yeah, okay. He can honey. But you just connect, you capture one stone. Ah, he doesn't. Push one more. He can block now. It looks like black's gonna lose. Uh, maybe. Now D9 or D8. Just turn. Now DMT is good again. Not so easy to leave, actually. Yeah, you, you break his eyes. You just turn. That one? Yeah, yeah. And then you double Atari. Okay. So he has only one eye so far. You got a G8. Because it's intended for him to block at E8, but then he can make the eye at G8. Okay, now you take one stone. Obvious. And then how he makes the eye in the corner. Let's see. <clears throat> take this guy, H9. If he goes that eye, you just connect. Mm -hmm. uh, jump or push or what? Or which jump? Uh <laughs> Right? Uh, I was looking at the B4 one first. Yeah, B4 is good. Okay. You have a Go Club meeting today? Or you can play? Uh, yeah, I sure do. I have a Go Club meeting. Mm -hmm. So, yes, yeah, you can connect here. Now what? Uh, so for him to go down, it's uh, center. So we gotta keep that in mind. But you gotta reduce the the eye from the top. Yeah, I'm looking at just a slide at like B one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that yeah. might be two. It's good enough. Yeah? Or or push okay. C two and then Hane. Same thing. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. Because if he goes down, I mean, what can he do? 
Yeah, we can. A3, capture. you connect. He press this one, you capture. And it's done. <clears throat> There's almost some shortage of liberties, but not enough for black. Yeah, connect. He goes Atari, you take. He starts a call, you have time to connect. On this Atari, you could also go in 1 1, and when he captures, you throw in again. Take the call first, just for fun. I want to see his call threat. Uh, he might probably A6. Yeah. Yeah. But it doesn't matter. When he captures the call, you connect. So now he has one less call threat. If another big call will start somewhere. <clears throat> so he lived luckily in the middle. Two points. Atari take the two. And he's got like four points on the side. Ah, and another four on the bottom. So he's got maybe ten points total on the board. Oof. That's... Yeah, it's about time. <laughs> How many were ahead? Only 180. Ah, no, more. <laughs> more than 200. It's because you got this group on the right side. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right. Let, let's go back to the beginning to check real quick the uh, Fuseki sure. a bit, if you still have time. Yeah, I do. <laughs> yeah, Black Cover called me almost twice. So, doing the review. Okay, diagonal Fuseki. Okay, now here, yeah, this G17 was a bit strange. I mean, it's playable and possible, but still a, a rare move. He was supposed to attack in the top right, Q5, P5. Right. Or maybe Sansa. Yeah. A Sansa invasion at C17, it's more common than an approach like G17. And an approach at F17 or the other side, C14, would be quite natural. But attacking uh -huh. the top right, it's a priority for black. Because you can make Shimari right away, Q5, Q6. Sure. And now, mm -hmm. against this G17, you can just respond C13 or Tenuki. You did Tenuki, right? Yeah, I think it. Then look, it's fine. Okay. But you can also play Calm. You can play, sh well, Shimari would be also Tenuki. I mean, if you Tenuki, you can just play Q6. So you prevent his approach at Q5. Oh, okay, yeah. But it's okay to attack at Q14. That's good direction to play. Yeah, I figured I would end up drawing uh, back and helping my but when you play when you play Q11, it's probably more interesting to play P10. You can also Tenuki here, actually, if you like. I mean, I you can play that one, you can play Q9, you can play moves to think about discarding that Q14 because he already answered R15. So Q14 doesn't have such a big value anymore because he okay. needs another move to attack it and another move to surround. So it will be a lot of effort for uh, Black to capture that stone. Oh, okay, okay, I see. And like this is more interesting for you to play a move like P10 and then attack N17 or you can attack N17 right away. Instead of P10, if you double approach, because normally when you play Q14, you expect him to defend N17. So when he plays any other move, you should consider taking his good point. Undo this one and play a stone at N17, a double approach. And then he has to kick O17. You go up. Then he will separate your stones, for example, O14. And then you just extend J17. So what you do here, you take a base on the bottom side. You weaken his G17, and that Q14 is still not surrounded. So you just give him bait. You okay. say, okay, you want you want to attack my Q14, take it if you need. But he needs to work hard for it. And in the I meantime, see. you just take other big spots. Sure. So that's how a dumb player is trying to maneuver his opponent <laughs> into, okay, into making bad shapes or bad moves. Anyway, uh -huh. remember this kind of combination. Playing Q11, it's obvious that you want to help your Q14, but it's also a good move because if he pushes again R14, then you can really discard that Q14. He plays too slow, all those moves on the second line. Right. So right now, for example, you play Shimari, P6 or Q6, and then when he goes Hane, he's taking uh, very small steps in capturing that stone. So it's fine to discard yeah. it, and now you can approach the bottom or a pincer or that one or anything. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's good. But if you pull back and you protect after he pushes under at R14, then you end up over-concentrated. So then yeah, Q11 doesn't look so good. But if you play P10 and he does that, the shape is a little better. So you got to see this kind of global uh, situations. 
Gotcha. Okay. Now, yeah, let's see the actual game. He attack you finally. Oh, he slides. Yeah, interesting. It's a good move to play that one. I didn't feel like the yeah like, you don't want to block C seventeen was right. Yeah, right. yeah. <clears throat> you want to block some sun next, but now if you place a move like C sixteen, what you do? Attach. Oh, the attach. No, yeah, the C sixteen um... one. You block right. Yeah. I think or you come down. So... Yeah, he needs Something to pull like back, this. and then you gotta extend again on the side. Mm -hmm. you, you don't defend because it's an over concentrated shape. You just extend all the way to C9 or yeah, oh, or like that. Farther. That's fine too. Yeah. You can go further because you got to anticipate that when you go like that, he might honey on the second line, B15, yeah, and then you know B. And now your shape is strong enough to allow a further extension. Gotcha. Because if now C9 is C10, it feels over concentrated. But this way mm -hmm. is like the best or the proper distance. And then you're closer to his corner, and then it's much easier to attack the top. So you always have to anticipate this way. Good. Okay. Actual okay. game. I see. So, yeah. Ah, you could pincer here. I think, or maybe you hope he will, yeah, the pincer Q7 or P7, it's more interesting. It gives more meaning for that Q11 earlier. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Or the high one, can be the high one, so you don't have all the stones on the third line. Mm -hmm. Because it's a lot of pressure, and for him it's interesting to extend to Q8 for a base. Yeah, and now he needs to jump out. O5, and then you came in the top, and 4, and so on. So he's in trouble. You put more pressure like this. Maybe Q4, it's one, yeah. Probably he, he pushes along a few times, and then he tries a pincer here. Gotcha. I notice bots like the variation where they keep pushing N5, M5, even if it's not so recommended to push from behind, especially when white goes on the forward line. But they push several times. You've got an OB again. And then some pins are P9 or Q9 or something to fight back. But then you can discard that stone. You can attach Q4, black goes down. And then you attach again uh, P9. Q4 is good too. Grab the corner and then cover P9 and let black connect under. And he feels a bit over concentrated. So black will Q8 here and white pulls back P10. So you got a nice top territory and a little bit of thickness with P10 group. And it's fine. Gotcha. Black just looks Korigatachi. Crowded. Mm -hmm. So let's see the original game. Sure. The This kind of move, Q4, is played a lot actually. But when there are no other stones on the side, and usually it's the one space jump uh, and three. But here you want to put pressure on his group, and he probably played too far. He has to play Q8 here. Yeah. So it's good to invade. I... Yeah. Now he attach, and you should go down R7. Oh. That's yeah, possible. That's I mean, way it, it's it's possible to play what you <laughs> did too. And now he pulls back P8, and then you connect under. That's the usual, Tesuji. In this case, and then you link. Oh, no, the other, the, the other yeah. one. Yeah. Oops. This force too, but it will be a call. The other one is just a easy yeah, way. And he's on the run. Mm -hmm. He needs to, to jump somehow. Probably gotcha. M7 or so. So it was a good decision to try Kema N4 and put more pressure on his group. And what happened in the actual game was good too. Okay. To push and connect under. It's just that. When this happens, you play this one, he covers, honey, he should connect, he shouldn't push, undo. Oh, he, yeah. should, he should play P9. And then you have like three options here. Oh, yeah, that's you really either, scary. Yeah, you even con either connect R10 or Q10 or you play R7. But if you play R7 and you're seeking for that connection at R5, you leave some magic with a honey R10 and a tight and so on. So the proper way is R10. But then he's much stronger than in the actual game, and then he should jump M8. And now you need another move in the top. Something like Ogema K3, because you don't want him to cut O3. But that's fine, he still has this kind of floating group in the middle, so the invasion at Q7 was really good. That shows some down player stuff, uh, skill. Mm -hmm. So it's it's nice. I'm get I'm getting there. <laughs> yeah. I'm starting to see like what our overplay is and how to punish them. Mm -hmm. But and it's good to punish this early. Yeah. If you can. All right. So back to the original game. He push. You cover. Hane double. Hane. 
Now here he Atari, yeah, that's good. And then he needs probably the hanging connection. That uh, yeah. and when he push again, he needs to nob again. It's ah, yeah. oh, that's too much. He had to nob again. Now you honey mm -hmm. the head of two stones. This was a disaster for black. And you cut yeah. him and you went out. That's all good. Can you wait? Wait a second. Can you just Atari again? I thought about it. And push one just more. And then cover. Out. Yeah. He goes out, and then jump. Uh, N7. Oh no, wait, actually you can pip O6. From that came out the pip comes very natural. Oh yeah. And then yeah, when yeah. he covers, I mean when he connects, you cover and surround everything N7. So mm -hmm. this way his R5 just looks like a spaghetti. That all formation. Oh yeah, that's way better. You're right. And the group in the middle it's floating heavy and mm -hmm. so the way you play was also interesting. Anyway, you gotta separate was fine, Atari yeah. and do something. And then he turned, then you jump. Now here, how about you squeeze instead of that? Uh, I thought Atari. about that too. Ah. Yeah. And you reject it because of the ladder and Atari again. Yeah, then, I didn't but, think the But now you can hunt or jump. I mean, 014. And then he's still in trouble everywhere. That's oh, a good shape. And he needs to do something with the middle group. But he's busy with the other group. He needs to go M7. And then Johanne, yeah. and he's in trouble with this one. Mm -hmm. And he needs to go out now, M13. Some spaghetti will collapse. Uh, I don't know which push now, probably N14. Or now you attack the other group, you can play a peep, N6, and then cap. Well, it's a fight where you're actually attacking two groups at once, so it's good. Mm -hmm. You have one weak group, M9, it's kind of thin. Probably here he will honey, but anyway, he needs to suffer more. Do something yeah. right. It's similar to the game, but you, you're not so tight with liberties uh, for this yeah, M9 yeah. group. But probably the squeeze, I mean, the other way, just Atari, Atari and surround. Yeah, you can do this and then cap and... You keep uh, the splitting attack going on gotcha. for a while. And now if he pl plays in between, like L8, you just came up, uh, J9. And then he's in trouble. So it didn't help him much. He's still surrounded. <clears throat> gotcha. And then you separate the bottom group, playing M16. Something will die eventually. Again, you win by mm -hmm. 200 points, just like that. <laughs> I see. <laughs> okay, let's go wow. back a few more moves. Sure. To see how you got in trouble with this group in the center. So you connected, he connected. Ah, yeah. And now you attach. And then you play the clamp. Hmm. I would just. Yeah, the clamp it. was the mistake, yeah. Well, I'm not sure, but this seems safer. Yohane, mm -hmm. Hinobi. Because this way you induce good moves in the top. You jump L4. Then he needs to turn. So, like this, you, you build something. And then you come out, and he's still in trouble with two groups. Exactly. Both the top and the middle one, and you just know Ben, he's running on neutral points. And if, if he pushes again, you can came on the bottom, uh, L13. And now you start attacking this group a little bit. So. Oh, down here. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, that, that clamp to Suji seemed to work well too. It ended up working. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it did. But it looked dangerous. Yeah, it was dangerous. I would have I would have failed at it without help, I'm pretty sure. So what, what was the next move after the, the cramp? You did a, you you wanted to cut originally, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I wanted to cut and so, then and I had second back, thoughts. If he goes back, if he connects, if he doesn't get ahead, you cover oh. and then what? Oh right. He can go back. Then when you cover, he cuts L six. Yeah, he cuts this way. No, yeah. he cuts the other way. This will give you a ponoki, because you go out. He cuts the other way, and then you no B. And in this case, he doesn't have to cut L8. He just takes the stone. Mm -hmm. It's similar to the other variation where you hane, and now you Atari from the outside. Actually, this is better. If he connects, you push Someone first, N5, he takes, so he's got a false eye. Mm -hmm. And then you got to think. Yeah, you play N5 once. Okay. 
he captures. And then you have to think if you can surround everything with a J4 move, or you just protect the top like in the game, L3, and you build some territory and he keeps running. Yeah, now, now if, yeah, this is tricky because if he goes down, then you have a problem in the corner. So you better, mm -hmm. you better play L3. He can always jump in the corner R3 or play Q3 and then you don't have eyes anymore. Oop. Yeah, if this happens, then you have to protect the corner R3 and he can... Yeah, yeah. yeah, this is safer. He's still on the run. It's good. Because the middle is unsettled and the top has a false side for now. So you're fine. Yeah, probably no matter what you play from now on, it's a good game for white. But you never know when the dragons die. Yeah, right. <laughs> anyway, the way he played showed fighting spirit to go out. It's natural. And yep. if you don't pay attention, he can squeeze you with Ataria and it's a problem. But I, I like the idea of cutting. So, yeah. well done. Go kill them All at right. the Go Club. <laughs> <laughs> I will do so. Thank you so much for your lesson. Thank you too. We, we'll probably see you next week. Hopefully, Sounds good. I'm, I'm back in time. I'll let you know. But Perfect. Le let's aim for that. All right. Have a good one. Thanks yep. for watching, Take everybody. Care. See you soon. Ciao, ciao. Yeah. All right, and as I like to remind everyone, be sure to support Cornell on his channel, twitch.tv slash CornellGo. Uh, he also has a YouTube. I can't remember it off the top of my head. But um, if you follow my YouTube at the end of every of the Cornell University, there is a link to his channel, so you can follow him on YouTube as well. If you are interested in lessons with Cornell, they're very valuable. I think they are very reasonably priced, and they're very informative. So you can hit Cornell up at on IGS and KGS as Cornell or OGS as Cornell 11. Um, if you would like to continue seeing this content, of course, your bits, your cheers, your donations, and your subscriptions all help me pay Cornell for his time. I do pay him for his time. Um, and we get to share this content with you twice. So that's pretty cool. So if you want to do that, that's great. Of course, you don't have to. You guys just being here, learning with me, having fun, killing giant groups with me. That's enough for me. But of course, I appreciate the extra support. Every little bit helps.